Okay, so what we're going to do in this uh, part of the uh, DVD is we're going to learn to make a control object uh, that we're going to use for all the facial work. Uh, we're going to build that out of splines. Uh, I think we've all seen them around uh, for the most part. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start with a rectangle. And I'm going to make the rectangle in this case. We're going to go uh, 10 by 10 units. And I'm just going to zero in the middle of the screen here. I'm building this currently in the front viewport, so it would be you know facing us. And what I'm going to do next is I'm going to put in a circle object. And let's just give this a radius of 1. And so what we want to do is we want to basically have um, this object set up so that it has limits and limits to the edge of the box and won't go outside of it. And what we're going to use this then for is a UI item so that we can actually control um, morphs on sort of a 2D basis. So we can have left to right and up and down and be able to control multiple morphs uh, at the same time just by uh, moving this around. We'll then have multiple of these built into a UI system for the character so that we can control different elements. So this might be um, corner of the mouth out, up, and down, and then on the other side. So you could actually have the mouth go around in full circles and whatnot just by uh, moving around one control. So with a circle, what we're going to do is we're going to take it first. I'm just going to hide the grid off. Uh, we're going to parent the, um, uh, the control up to the uh, rectangle. And I'm just going to start it in the, in the uh, center. So I'm going to uh, go into uh, screen space, or sorry, parent space, and make sure we're at zero, zero. So anywhere now we are uh, moving the uh, master control, the actual um, circle in the middle is going to be set at, uh, at zero, 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 no matter where it is, because it's parented to it and aligned to it. And one of the things in Max 7 is being able to limit uh, an object's movement, any tracking animation. In Max 8, there's a new limit controller, which will allow you to do this really easily, really quickly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show you um, a great simple way of doing this, and it can be scripted. And what we're going to do is we're going to script this whole thing uh, next and uh, make it look really cool. So what we do for this to actually limit this object's movement is we're going to go into uh, the motion panel and for the position we're going to change the controller to a um, position list. And in this case just in the available track we're going to put a position script and we've got an XYZ position script. Now we're leaving the first one active because that's the one we're going to animate on. We could move these around. It wouldn't matter what order they were in really. And what we're going to do is we're going to have this basically be able to limit the amount of movement here. So we're actually going to have this script controller control um, this object's XYZ values. Now it's a little bit of a neat trick to do this to get it to work nice and clean. Um, I don't like script controllers uh, personally in Max 7 and previous uh, straight off because they are name dependent. I don't want this to be name dependent. If I suddenly change the names of all these, these UI controls, let's say I make an entire UI control based out of these and then change the names of them uh, for another set of characters, I would break every single one of the script controllers driving it. So like I've done in previous um, DVDs, I want to uh, make this name independent by adding a a definition to it, a, a custom attribute definition to it. And the custom attribute definition is going to be relatively simple. It's going to have uh, four parameters um, as, as the final uh, base of it. I'm just going to start with the two basic ones and, and show you how this is going to work. So I'm going to call it um, def equals uh, attributes. And we're going to call this, uh, oops, clamp. And again, if you notice, I'm handwriting it, not using the uh, built-in tool um, for this, so that I get exactly what I want, exactly how I want. I don't need a UI or anything, because we're actually going to add this to a controller, not to an object. Um, it's, it's important to know that custom attributes in Max can be applied to objects, modifiers, materials, the root of the scene, contr any controller, any Max object it can be actually added to. Um, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to have two parameters, x and y. So we're going to have uh, x, and it's going to be type of float. And we're going to have y, and it's going to be type of float. And oops, I forgot the parameter block.